On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at Freddy vs. Jason Deluxe Box Set. Hey, how do you like that? Um, this is probably one of my number one requests that was made to me. Um, a couple people have asked when I was going to be doing this. And uh, ask and ye shall receive. Um, if we first look at the packaging here, uh, which is quite substantially large. It's so large so that you can't even see the rest of my backdrop. Um, we get a good image of Robert Englund as Freddy on the, on the side, and we also get a good representation of Jason on the other side. Ages eight, 18 and up, uh, it would be surprising to see that it says 18 and up, but I guess due to the nature of you know, the figures that it involves, uh, it's for a mature collector. Um, we get a nice red, red, orange fire um, background or background color here. Um, if we flip over the box here, we get Freddy vs. Jason on the top. Nothing else really aside from the fire, but uh, turn the packaging around here. We get a picture of Jason. And on the back is probably the meat of the, the packaging here. Um, we get the different features of the set. So we have a removable mask on Jason, alternate head on Freddy, fully posable, and a magnetic hand. Um, I'll get into that as, as I open this guy up, but we get a nice diorama view of the two characters. Figures can be posed separately, or bases can be joined together as shown. Um, when I open this guy up, and I probably will have him on display, um, I will likely have the two connected because that's the way it should be. There's no reason why we're sensible people. There's no reason why we would want Freddy and Jason apart when you can merge the two and get glorious goodness. That is the Freddy vs. Jason diorama. Um, we also get a nice picture of the mask with the glove holding it. And... Uh, Let's turn around here and we get a picture of Freddy on the side. So now that we have had a look, an extensive look at the packaging, what I'll do is I'll open up this behemoth and we will get a closer look at the two figures. And here we have Freddy and Jason out of the package. Um, let's quickly get a look at the figures here. We'll start with Freddy. Um, <clears throat> there's a considerable amount of detail that was put into the head of Freddy here. Um, I have a couple of concerns, however, with the figure, but uh, likeness-wise, it is a good likeness of Freddy. Um, quite a considerable amount of detail that was put into the actual face of the figure. Um, the hat is removable, so you can take the hat off, which is, you know, it's common with most Freddies that the hat is removable. Um, nice, bald uh, head on Freddy here. Um, where I actually, you know what? I'll get into that in a second. Um, is there's considerable amount of detail put into his glove as well. Uh, one surprising thing is the fact that his blades on his claws are uh, are rather sharp, and I don't I don't necessarily mean like sharp where you can cut. <laughs> Ooh, actually, it's not really that sharp, but um, it is rather sharp, at least in a sculpt, because generally when they make a Freddy, it's it's rounded off and it's a little shorter of a blade. Um, so I do have to commend them for doing a, at least what looks to be a sharper looking sculpt on the glove. Um, there is a lot of detailing on the glove, if you can see that there. Um, my only down, my two downsides to the figure, one is, is the glove itself. The glove is a ball bearing or a ball joint. Um, however, the way that they've got it sitting in the sleeve, uh, you do get a lot of movement out of the glove, but the glove tends to fall off or come out quite easily. Um, there is articulation in the shoulder, although it is rather stiff. Um, there is that horrible gimp joint in his elbow. Actually, surprisingly enough, the articulation in the figure 
as a whole is rather is rather tight. Um, there's articulation in this shoulder as well, but it could just be that my figure is, rel is relatively new out of the package. Um, but there's articulation in his hand as well. Um, articulation in the waist, but nothing in the legs down, although there is articulation in the foot. Uh, my other problem, which I was going to touch base on earlier, was the fact that his head has articulation, but uh, because he has an interchangeable head, and I'll show you that in a second, but because he has an interchangeable head, they haven't supplied too much in the way of a peg for the head to sit into the body itself. Um, as a result, you can only move the head so much, and if you bump it the wrong way or anything else, this head comes out quite easily. Um, but speaking of interchangeable heads, we have the regular Freddy head. But they also were they also gave us the Demon Freddy or the Hell Freddy. Um, this Freddy, I'll put it in the body here. This Freddy was. Uh, during the dream sequence in which he was trying to drown the young baby or the young uh, young boy Jason Voorhees and the girl stopped him and then Freddy looks up in the from the water and goes Aah! and then he see him that this really cool scene where he leaps out of the water but uh, a lot of detailing was put in that as well you get you see his open in the side of his uh, mouth and you can see his teeth and everything else uh, really nice coloring as well um, I don't know if the camera picks it up. The camera almost makes it look a little lighter than what it is. It, it is a really dark, almost like a strawberry color, like a strawberry pink, but really, really nice detail. Um, I don't know how long this, this video might actually be a two-parter, so if it is a two-parter, I'll stop it maybe when I get to the Jason. Um, but that, that's that's pretty much Freddy there. Um, it's a shame that there wasn't more articulation done in the, in the leg area. Um, it is pretty... Uh, it's pretty stuck the way it is. I mean, you're not going to get much out of it at all. But the detailing is really nice on the Freddy itself. Um, I think I'll probably wrap this up here, just because I am getting to, what, 4 minutes, 15 seconds. But uh, there will be a second part, and in the second part, I will be looking at the Jason. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later.